Here's the latest news from the Caucasus neighborhood. The New York Times reported Baku was the site of more protests this past week, a relative rarity in the authoritarian state. Police used tear gas, rubber bullets, and water cannons to disperse protesters, who had gathered to speak out against hazing and abuse of conscripts in the Azerbaijani army. Over 80 people were detained at the protest, and three of its promoters had been arrested prior to the event. Baku is especially on edge when it comes to protests as it prepares for a presidential election later this year. Trend News Agency reported that names are being color-coded red, yellow, and green, with red names being those of individuals who have committed aggression against the Azerbaijani people. If the parents still insist on giving their child a red name, the Azerbaijani press says they can always apply for clearance from the Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences. Azerbaijan also vented anger at Turkey this week, letting it know that planned flights between Yerevan and Van are not in line with the friendly relations between Azerbaijan and Turkey. An Azerbaijani member of parliament says that allowing Armenian migrants to work in Turkey, maintain trade via Georgia, and to hold flights such as the planned ones with Van mean that the closed borders are a mere formality. The first flight to Van is scheduled for April 3rd. In Armenia, the very public post-election dispute rolled on as the Constitutional Court weighed in on appeals from presidential candidates Rafi Hovhannisyan and Andrias Hugasyan. A surprise came when one of the justices, Kim Balayan, publicly expressed the need for a clear conscience in making his decision on whether to back the appeals, citing the dissatisfaction of many Armenians with the official vote result and the public distrust due to electoral violations. The decision of the nine-member body on the following day made its way to Reuters. The Constitutional Court found that there were no violations which could have influenced the election's outcome. This decision cannot be appealed. A spokesman for Havanisyan stated that his team would continue our political fight within the framework of the law and constitution until we win. Hovhannisyan has meanwhile vowed to remain on a hunger strike in Freedom Square in protest until Inauguration Day on April 9th. And that's the latest news from the Caucasus neighborhood.